Hello folks, today we're going to talk about Paul Lazalem, but before we go there, please like and subscribe, it helps our channel out. Welcome to Travels Are Us. Pauley's Island is a town in South Carolina on the barrier islands of the same name. It is known for its beaches and sand dunes. And there are actually, you don't see any hotels out there. All you see are little homes, little houses. It also has a historical district out there from uh, 18th century. And Brook Green Garden is not too far from the place. Here goes a map of the place, as you can see. Now the beach that we're talking about is located way down at the bottom tip. And another thing about this place is it's only 20 miles south of Myrtle Beach. So if you decide to go to Myrtle Beach, I recommend that you stop off at this location and just relax. It's not going to be the action-packed place that you see downtown Myrtle Beach. Uh, area however it is a place where you just could sit back relax for the day enjoy nature and if you're a fisherman or a fisherwoman this is the place to go fishing and again it's not crowded later on you're going to see the parking lot of the place I'm going to show you that and some of the area of the area of the beach but please enjoy just this drive right now We have now made it to the parking lot. Now if you notice, there's not that much parking out here. I didn't sit down and count it, but I don't think there's more than 50 parking spaces for vehicles. But it's it, it's what makes it nice. It's The thing is, is, there's not a lot of parking, so that means that the beach could never get crowded. And um, there are some porta potties out there that you could use, but the best part is the actual beach. Now, if you notice, as I'm walking down towards the front of the parking lot, you can see right there on the right, there's a house, and that house is basically right on the beach. And those are the kind of homes you find out here, homes on stilts. And earlier I said they're little homes, but in reality they're kind of big. They're not that small. And most of them are vacation homes. 
but the reason I'm walking up here is so I can show you the sign that kind of tells you the part to the rules with hours of operation that kind of thing um, but today as, as you can see they were doing some type of work out here it looks like it was some electrical lines they were working on but again I'm going to show you the, the actual rules that uh, apply to this place We are about to enter the beach portion of it and um, again some more rules up here so I'll stop off for a second so you can see what these rules are about. Look at that beach. Look at that water. Now look at how empty the place is. There is nobody out here. Well, there are a few people. You saw the parking lot kind of full with the, I guess the majority of maybe 50 cars max. Uh, but there's somebody out there flying the kite. Look at the dunes right here. You won't find dunes like these in, in Myrtle Beach. Maybe if, if anybody out there could actually show me big dunes like that or tell me where to find them in Myrtle Beach, please comment and let me know. But if you notice, there's people out there fish, uh, flying kites. There's actually some people walking out there getting ready to set up. And look how much space you have. And this is one of the main reasons why I like to come to this beach. I come to this beach to go fishing as well as just to sit there and enjoy nature. Wait till you see the other side. There's one side is the Atlantic Ocean. The other side is the inlet. The portion of a... Uh, it's like almost a peninsula. When you saw the map earlier you can see that it's a peninsula type of shape of uh, it's a little island. So please enjoy this, this video. And I'll come back on in a few seconds. The day we were out there was very windy, so I kind of had to sit behind the sand dune, and there goes our our chairs that we kind of sat and we actually faced the inlet part if you look across you'll see some houses out there on the other side but again when high tide this water is, is pretty fast but it's almost like a lazy river you could actually put something out there and just kind of float up and down that, that little uh, peninsula area the inlet and it's really nice again I come fishing out here and when it's low tide you not really good fishing on this side I go fishing on the other side uh, but a high tide I like to come out here and this inlet goes way in there where there's a few bridges up there where you cross to go into the island and there's a bunch of people that sit out there fishing so again it's you need to come out here and really enjoy this place
out like I was saying earlier look at some of these little mansions across that inlet area beautiful homes I wish I could afford something like that uh, that's okay I still go to the beach fishing <laughs> It's time to start walking back to the parking lot, getting ready to go back home. Now, if you see a little flickering item, it's, it was actually windy. So as I was holding my camera, the strap was just flapping all over the place and it would catch in front of the camera there. But again, it's time to go home. So I'm walking back to the um, parking lot. Another picture of back going just panning around to the back of the inlet area before I leave so I won't forget how it looked. Again, it's a very beautiful place. You should come visit. Yes, we're about to drive off. Now look at that house that we saw earlier right at the edge of the parking. Now from there we're driving back. Now look at these beautiful big homes. They're not really little homes. And again, they're vacation rental type of property. Uh, a lot of these you'll see signs that say they're for rent, vacation rentals. Um, as you're driving by, if you're interested, you might well just turn around and drive through there and take some numbers down and give them a call. I don't really know what the prices are, but it will probably be a pretty penny. Now, if you look across the street from the houses, they have piers, and uh, I'm assuming that they belong to those houses in front of them, and then you could go fishing in the inlet portion if you rented out the place. But again, a very beautiful place to visit.
forget about Polly's Island, you have beaches and also wetlands. And I will again recommend that you go and enjoy yourself on a day out here. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please provide some comments. Any little help that you do makes help this channel grow. And this is basically my hobby. I like to play around making little videos and showing people the area. Here goes one of those bridges I was talking about and there goes the inlet of the water. You'll see people fishing on these bridges every once in a while. And again, thank you for watching. Take care and be safe.